the United States Air Force has quietly crossed a line many believed could never be broken. While much of the world was focused on fifth-generation fighters, America was already flying something far beyond them, something faster, stealthier, and hidden so deep inside classified programs that even Congress barely knew it existed. This aircraft is the F-47, a sixth-generation fighter that didn't just arrive recently, but has been flying in secret for nearly five years, rewriting the rules of aerial combat while the rest of the world tried to catch up. What you're about to hear will completely change how you understand air superiority. In March 2025, President Donald Trump publicly confirmed what defense insiders had only whispered for years. The F-47 was real. Not a concept, not a mock-up, a flying aircraft that had already shattered classified performance benchmarks. Behind that announcement was a truth far more staggering. Experimental versions of the F-47 had been conducting classified test flights since 2020. For nearly half a decade, these aircraft flew hundreds of hours at extreme performance limits. Not in simulations, not in wind tunnels, but in real airspace under real conditions. While analysts debated what sixth-generation fighters might look like, Boeing and Lockheed Martin were already proving what they could do. DARPA confirmed in late 2020 that its X-plane demonstrators had broken records. No footage, no numbers, just confirmation that something unprecedented had happened. And when DARPA refuses to give details, it usually means the achievement is far beyond public expectations. For decades, fiber design faced a brutal trade-off. High speed meant intense heat. Heat meant massive infrared signatures. And massive infrared signatures meant instant detection. Stealth aircraft avoided this by staying subsonic. The F-22 pushed the limit with brief supercruise, while the F-35 sacrificed speed entirely for sensor dominance. Physics seemed non-negotiable. The F-47 changed that equation. Industry insiders point to sustained speeds well above Mach 2, with whispers suggesting Mach 2.25 or higher while remaining stealthy. That combination alone is revolutionary. This wasn't achieved through engines alone. It required a complete rethinking of materials, aerodynamics, and thermal management. The Air Force quietly assigned the F-47 a designation that should worry every potential adversary. Stealth plus plus, not fifth generation stealth, not even advanced stealth like the F-22. This is an entirely new tier. At the heart of this leap is a next-generation ceramic radar absorbent material developed through classified research partnerships. Unlike traditional polymer coatings, this ceramic layer absorbs over 90% of radar energy, resists erosion from sand and debris, remains effective in rain, salt spray, and extreme heat, survives sustained Mach 2 plus flight without degrading. This allows the F-47 to sprint into contested airspace at over 1,600 miles per hour while remaining nearly invisible. By the time enemy sensors register anything unusual, the F-47 has already struck and vanished. Speed and stealth alone don't win wars. Range does. The F-47 boasts a combat radius exceeding 1,000 nautical miles, nearly double that of the F-22. This fundamentally changes Pacific warfare. From bases in Guam or Japan, the F-47 can penetrate deep into contested zones, strike high-value targets, and return, often without tanker support. China's anti-access and area denial strategy depends on pushing U.S. aircraft 
far from its coastline. The F-47 simply ignores that assumption. The Air Force plans to field 185 F-47s, matching the original F-22 fleet size. But each jet delivers the combat power of multiple legacy fighters. In modern air combat, speed isn't about bragging rights, it's about energy. Air-to-air -air missile launched from a Mach 2 Plus platform starts with enormous kinetic advantage. That translates into longer range, faster intercepts, and less reaction time for the enemy. Speed also enables something rarely discussed, escape dominance. When missions go wrong, the F-47 doesn't rely on defensive maneuvers. It simply outruns threats. Many enemy fighters can't catch it. Many missiles can't intercept it. Speed becomes defense. And thanks to true supercruise, the F-47 sustains supersonic flight without afterburners, preserving fuel and minimizing infrared signature throughout the mission. The F-47 doesn't fight alone. Its true power lies in its integration with collaborative combat aircraft, often called loyal wingmen. These AI-driven drones accompany the F-47 into combat, acting as sensors, jammers, missile carriers, and decoys. Programs like YFQ-42A and YFQ-44A are already flying today. One F-47 can command four to six autonomous wingmen, creating a combat formation that covers hundreds of square miles. Drones absorb risk. The pilot controls strategy. AI executes tactics at machine speed. The Air Force plans to acquire over 1,000 CCAs, turning each F-47 into the nucleus of a devastating aerial network. Public speed records belong to aircraft like the SR-71, machines built purely for velocity. The F-47's achievement is different. It holds the highest sustained speed ever achieved by a stealth combat aircraft, while carrying weapons, sensors, and full mission capability. That combination, speed, stealth, range, and lethality, has never existed before. China and Russia revealed sixth-generation concepts in late 2024. America was already flying demonstrators while they were still drafting blueprints. The first production F-47 is already under construction. First flight is scheduled for 2028, with operational capability expected by 2029 to 2030. That timeline is shockingly fast because the technology was already proven during five years of secret flights. Boeing invested billions in classified manufacturing infrastructure before the contract was even awarded. That level of confidence speaks volumes. The F-47 didn't just break speed records. It shattered the myth that America's technological edge was fading. It proved that when properly funded and executed, U.S. aerospace innovation remains unmatched. Faster, stealthier, longer ranged, and already flying. By the end of this decade, the F-47 will define air dominance, not just for the United States, but for the balance of global power itself. This is RS military, and this is the future of air superiority. If you believe America should always lead the skies, like the video, subscribe, and stay mission ready.